Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on uh, the Republic Striker Class Starfire and Sith Fury Class Interceptor from the Old Republic from 2012, of course. So, on this one, let's look at these two boxes one at a time. So, for Republic Striker Class Starfire, this had the Lego and Star Wars logos and the large Darth Maul border from the time, and all three minifigs included, saying new for this set, and picture of it flying above Coruscant, and the age group, and set number, amount of piece, and amount of pieces, and Star Wars The Old Republic logo down below, signifying that it's from The Old Republic, just like we did with the uh, uh, Rogue Shadow from The Force Unleashed back in 2008. So nice to see that carry on to here, and also recently BD1, or 2022 is BD1, of course. And there's on the back side of it, all the features of the set, and also and Shatila Sean going up against Darth Malchus and saying not in the box, not included. But that since obviously got the other set for that. Then as for Sith Fury Glass Interceptor, I would same stuff going on and flying through core through chorus lot and set number 9500. Nice set number to see there. The back side of it. So it says other set not included in box, of course. Kind of odd thing there. Since of course it's its own separate thing. Or a separate set and Resting with all the features spread out and a little action scene with a bunch of it going on and there. And now on to the manuals. Which as you can see, same picture as on the front of the boxes and everything. Then on the back side of this one is is at or just at for the online survey. And then add for Lego Club, add for a Comic Builder, part of the website from the time. Advertisement for all of the uh, summer 2012 line of Star Wars. And also that one of which expect for next next throwback Thursday. And uh, which expect and this for uh, the next two throw throwback Thursdays after. So that. And then a little comic strip involving the two sets there. And all the pieces included. And, and the last building steps. And now, there's two of which, which common thing from this time. So beneath fig list from this time, same with then, which carried on to the last few year, next few years after, or many years after, of course. And then all the features again. So now, on to the minifigs. First up for the Republic Striker Class Starfighter, which, again, kind of a mouthful of a name, which also gets just these three things here. So first up, of which is Shatila Shaw, of which with the face printing kind of the same as Wonder Woman's in the DC line from the time, and also, hairpiece, kind of a common one, of course, and however, for the uh, torso print, leg printing, all looking really good, and 
also all in cyan green, kind of interesting to see there. And of course, wielding the uh, double-headed uh, lightsaber with blue blades for that. Kind of interesting how that is, even though we did see that with another set in green the following year, of course. And the next of which is Republic Trooper, which kind of interesting, even though it had kind of a mix of white and red, and also a knife bit on the chest part of which, and also this large uh, blaster here, quite large and clunky for that. Since, of course, this was Old Republic and it was set around a few thousand years before the prequels, but so, of course, not nearly as nice looking. And also, and at the hair piece of which, like what Bruce Wayne minifig kind of had, but, and also kind of good face printing, which you can use on other figs and such. And although it doesn't have the helmet piece of which from the game, you know, but even though the other Republic Troopers did the following year, her, of course, well, would have been nice if this was, that was included with this set as well, but yeah. And then last to it is T701, or T701, of course, who is the earlier style astromech droid. So, and of course, since this being an earlier era of Star Wars, obviously not as nice and more clunky than, more clunky than other ones. So, of course, but of course, still has the same leg pieces as other astromech droids tend to have. Nice to see there. And... Also, the top part, which is consisting of various dish pieces, with both of which with some good printings on them, of course. And the backside, which had the traditional wheel piece for the backside there. And then to the back torso printing of each of them. Oh, wait, Republic Trooper doesn't have back face printing, but Shatila Sean, of which quite does, then. So that's about it with this batch. And now onto the Sith Fury class interceptors a pair of minifigs. First up, we get the main star figure of the set and of this sub theme, of which Darth Malgus, of which a very neat minifig, like, whereas the face printing kind of similar to that of burnt up uh, Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader's and also uh, Palpatine's with the yellow Sith eyes there. And also, as for the uh, breathing apparatus and uh, shoulder pad piece, which is quite nicely well done and good to see here. And also, and of course, wielding the red lightsaber for that. But if you notice in the game, the hilt is, of course, a, a unique shape uh, to it, but instead it's just the usual hilt. Because they just didn't want to bother with a, a more you know, specific shaped uh, hilt piece, but whatever. However, the torso print, leg printing, all really good. They're just great for that. And then next to it is what you see one of, but what you also get about two of in this set is the earlier style Sith Trooper, which is a lot different than the ones that you had with uh, Episode 9 of the sequel trilogy, but obviously in all black instead of red, of course. And all, but also kind of close to that, well, mainly the helmet part, kind of resembling that of Darth Vader with the shaping of it and the mouth part of it as well. But of course, this was a different era of that. And of course, in the center part, a, a little Sith symbol there. Yeah, a little Sith symbol on there. And underneath that is just... Bruce Wayne slash Loki's face print, which each have kind of like they did with the with the uh, uh, stormtroopers and clone troopers with the regular clone face that went on from 2013 to 20, of course. And on to the back course of printing of that, which Sith troopers are done quite nicely for that, and neither of which have back head printing and. A uh, single red stripe going down all of the helmet, kind of interesting. And as for this, and as for Darth Malgus's, quite good back torso printing and all of the cape piece, which is actually a unique cape piece where it doesn't like fold over to work on the uh, torso piece. It's actually one single hole for that, 
which they did use on most other figs in like various lines like Hobbit and such. But at least, but of course, I wish there would have been other mini figs included with this set, but whatever. And so now on to the first of the builds. Is the Republic Striker class Starfighter itself. In which kind of a unique ship that we never got any remakes of any and of course quite thick and chunky, kind of chunky for that, but it's, but of course this is a much earlier era of Star Wars. So of course everything not nearly as much nice as is. This one. Which from first glance almost like a flat A wing, well earlier style A wing, but but not very but not for long, which I'll go show later. Like from this upper part of which, which does have a couple of flat parts on a couple of clip pieces and also these little blaster bar parts made of just a hinge rod and dishes on the top parts and little technic bits going downwards into there. And they do swivel that, but which is for another feature. And then also these long slopes, which I think might be reused from the Ahsoka's Jedi Starfighter in 2009, but I uh, could, could be wrong, but whatever. But however, these which are actually printed, not stickered, but luckily there isn't at all any stickers in this set, so these which printed, really nice to see there. And then as for the wing parts around all of it, which kind of interesting and quite well done. Like with all the flat plates and tiles and vent tile pieces and wonder what those axle rods are for, which I'll show later. Then as for in the cockpit kind of section, which is the uh, same one that is, was used on the uh, X-Wing and Y-Wing and uh, Snow Speeder but with the same printings and all, but you can lift it up and as for in the this cockpit kind of area which has those little tile pieces with button like prints on them. Kind of the same that we've had since 1999, but which was kind of common at this time, but whatever. And the, also another tile with it under there, of course. And also enough space to fit Shatila Sean into there and close it over her like so. Now for the back engine part which has a couple wedge plates that go inwards to there and curved slopes upwards making a kind of good look to it with a but also a random green stud on there. Or most likely to be an indicator light of some kind. But then going not to these engine parts with these center bits and pink trans pink dish pieces acting as the thrust to it. And onto this back side of which which has this tile piece on a hinge that you can lift right up, and also a couple plates there, mainly to fit the lightsaber onto, or store the lightsaber onto. Which kind of odd how it's on here, when I think it could have been better if it was a pair of clips that are on both engines for that, but that's just me. And as I've been saying, this does have a transformation feature, where you can like take this wing part, clip it right off with a little clip part which hooks into there and kind of clip onto the back parts of it. Uh, so you can see that again like that. And then these parts of which kind of fold right upwards. So it's gone from an old style A wing to early style X wing or Z95 headhunter, but just without the X foils. And of course, then also this kind of interesting, kind of odd texture to there, where it's just the ridge bricks, but in opposite directions, except for in that part of it. Kind of interesting. And then as for those rods from earlier, those of which I would shoot out the foot fire missiles for that. So at least you don't have to like flick them yourself like some earlier sets tend to have. You also have the uh, uh, this globe, the Bonkle Baraki eyepiece in trans green, 
like we've seen in most uh, Atlantis sets, and also Nitro Blast in Hero Factory for that. Nice to see it used here, but yeah. And that's about it with that. And now on to the Sith Fury Class Interceptor. Oh, it's quite a neat one, but also kind of fitting, and does kind of fit in well with most TIE vehicles. Well, in kind of closely matching the TIE Striker, which we got for uh, Rogue One in 2016, but at least, but of course, not this pattern off the same ship. This is a different kind of one, of course. See, so like for this upper part of which, like, again, kind of like that of most TIE fighters and all, but kind of a lot of tiles and wedge plates kind of mixed around it, and a couple of other parts acting as greeples for that. And then on the side of which is a large plate with uh, stickered looks to it, with stickered uh, gat greebles in it, and and, that's, and how they got these to work is to get them put together is with the rubber technic bit in there. So to get it to work, kind of interesting use of that for that. And then on, then further down the wings of which are these little uh, car engine kind of pieces, and also a technic brick with these uh, little guns right there, which are also spring wall or flip fire missiles. Right. And as you see, they do look almost like blasters already, even though it could still work out like for looks and things. Or just for looks, of course. And as for the center cockpit section, which has this little uh, translucent dome piece, like we've seen with some of the earlier TIE fighter sets. Or, I mean, with the. Or since there was a TIE fighter set in uh, the winter wave of this year, 2012, I guess it might have been reused from that, but at least a little different from. Actually, it's quite different than that, of course. And is on two uh, ratchety kind of hinges on there. And you can have this fold outwards, and it's a boarding ramp and control panel that swings right out for that. And although, this is which a little spot where you can. Oh, uh, hang on. I was wrong. Actually, although you can sit either Sith Trooper or Darth Malchus into it. Even though the box cover kind of shows Darth Malakus in it. So, and of course, enough room to seat Darth Malakus into with that traditional chair piece. You know, it kind of ruins the cape. And you can, like, swing this right in front of him. And also, just enough room to stick the lightsaber into nice and snugly. And you can, like, raise this ramp up and close it over him, like so. And nice and snugly. And as for the rest of this interior, quite appreciate all the looks of it, like with all the jagged slopes around it, making it not nearly as curved and smooth like, like as most sets do, but whatever. And as for the uh, top part of the ship, top part, which of course is mostly, does have a lot of the venting uh, slope pieces all on there, and whole bunch of that and of course a pair of harpoon guns being but being used as like wiring and greepling to there nice to see there and then to the back side of which which as you can see which has some one of the only bits of snot on here well along with most of it is where had these like wedge plates on with venting on both sides and Technic wheel part with a dish piece on it to be the engines, and also this little and this kind of back hatch entry kind of give me some Millennium Falcon kind of vibes to it. But even though it's a whole thing for that, where you can like, which like the front canopy can like open in two different sections, but although this part of which you can pull right out and yeah, has and of course it's a little. A seating or yeah sitting or standing kind of part for the Sith Troopers and also do got a pair of clips or clip bricks clipping bricks on both sides to fit blasters on too of course 
and of course you can slide it back in there and it will attach to the uh, red pin brick like so and like close over them like quite well oh, which, so you can sit all three figs into this uh, ship of which great to see there and as for the other these other flaps here kind of the same kind of similar to the other or further up parts of it but there's a feature with that they kind of fold out uh, which with those piston pieces like on the uh, Balagenosis set the year earlier and which they do kind of clap on there and but how are the bottom ones of which kind of uh, kind of clip underneath the ball joint part of it so if you like uh, they kind of wobble a bit if you turn it upside down but Oh, whoops. This part kind of came off from there. So this will be kind of quick. Uh, okay. And so now, like, if you get both of them and then fold them outwards, then it's in its flight mode. Oh, which, yeah, in its flight mode. Oh, which is quite cool for how it is. Almost like the rogue shadow kind of was, but yeah. Let's let me get full sets here. Kind of an interesting pair that we got, which in both uh, black and gray and in in dark and light red. Which nice colors to the see here. Now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these of which are quite really cool sets. You know, kind of random entries, well, based on the Old Republic games, which we barely see much. Well, even though we did get two more, or two others the following year, but at least great to see here, of course. But as large sky size sets, even though one of which was a battle pack, of course. But like the minifig selections and bolt sets, of which a little questionable for that, because if you play most of the Old Republic, there's plenty of good choices of characters they could have included in either of these. But that's just me. Like if they ever revisited this range Old Republic, I would expect that. Anyways, same with the uh, Jedi Fallen Order and plenty of other Star Wars games as well. But yeah. And although for the prices that they work, like like the Striker Class Starfighter, which which was about forty five at the time, although forty would have been just about right. Not sure why it kind of fluctuated up to five dollars, but whatever. And then Sphere Class Interceptor, like for the ninety dollars that it was, and there's only three figs included with that. But if unlike some other ninety dollar sets would include like around five to six uh, mini figs included that included but three and two of which are the same thing uh, which kind of like quick repetate it's like which like gets a little bit repetitive kind of quickly but whatever although it would be nice if there was a few someone else other than the other sith trooper but at least the other two still forgivable but yeah and also, and as for bolt sets as a whole, it's quite nice to see a bit of variety in a single wave, but yeah. And so now, if any of you, if either of you of which are out playing the old, enjoy playing the old Republic, and, st and then keep on, and are looking for something to uh, have alongside and celebrate with, then these sets are for you. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.